Good day, everybody. Today I'm here to talk about what is going to be an extremely, or has already been, an extremely controversial subject. I hope you enjoy the content. If you do, please reach down and mash the like and subscribe button. It'll help our channel, helps the algorithm, and it doesn't cost you anything. Today's topic is about the world's largest dam removal, and it's going to touch many lives in the Klamath River Basin. It's the actual deconstruction of four dams. They're going to completely tear them out. And they're, the first one is in Oregon, and the other three are actually in California after, after the Klamath River crosses the California line. This is going to be extremely controversial, and, and I don't want to make light of it, but the Native Americans have been fighting for many, many years. I mean, I'm, for more than the last 20 years, they've been trying to get the dams removed to allow the salmon to be able to swim back up river again, where they spawn and do their thing. And I understand that. But I also understand that we're amongst the 22 or so years of the most severe drought we've ever had, and there's an extreme water shortage. So it's beyond me how they think it is going to be okay to tear these four dams out. Because whenever the need is really to capture water is during the events of floods and storms and what have you. And that ability is going to be gone when the dams are torn out. All this water is going to go straight to the Pacific Ocean. It's going to exit. There's, it's useless to anybody. And I understand that um, we're trying to save a protected species. I think our, our species should be number one, I would think. And our number one commodity, the number one thing we need, isn't vegetables or fish or dairy. It's water. We have to have water to survive. Okay, now if you take out of the equation the fact that we're going to lose all the water to the Pacific Ocean, what about the people that own properties on these lakes? Um, their property values are going to go down. Um, real estate, they're not going to be able to move the property. And uh, people that work the rivers and lakes doing recreational, uh, different boating and fishing, things as such, their jobs are in jeopardy. If um, if they even have one, because right now the way the water is being done is they close the dams off during the nighttime and they open back up during the day so they get a good flow down when everybody could really use the water. These are hydropower generating dams. They don't produce a huge amount according to the power company, but the fact is they're going to be removed and that power is going to have to be delivered from another source. Now the cost of all this project to tear out all the dams is mostly funded, but there's going to be overruns and stuff that are going to be shouldered by the people who are going to need this power in the future. Another thing, the critics also believe that once you remove the dams, is that going to be enough to help the salmon because of the changing conditions in the oceans already? So the whole question is, will this add to the increased production of salmon? Once they tear out the dams, is it even going to do it? They don't truly believe it will. And that's quoted by numerous people in this article I've been reading. If you found this content interesting, please reach down and mash that like and subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything and it'll help our channel. We truly appreciate it. Until next time, please stay safe.